through 16 here. So we're pushing this box across the floor, pushing horizontally uh, at a constant velocity. It doesn't much matter what that velocity is, but it's constant. Uh, pushing it with 140 newton force and it's a 20 kilogram crate. So we don't know what the coefficient of kinetic friction between the surfaces is. We start with an energy for the crate, normal force up, weight down. Uh, we have this push here, call it F or normal U, whatever you like. We know that it's balanced with the friction because it's moving at constant velocity. Call up and right positive. F net Y is N minus MG, which is zero. F net X is F minus mu sub KN, which is zero. We're solving for mu sub K. So F is mu sub KN, which is N is MG, mu sub K MG. So mu sub K is F divided by MG. That's 140 newtons divided by 20 kilograms times 10 newtons per kilogram. That's 0.7. Uh, notice that the, there are no units on there. The units cancel. Newtons over newtons. Um, that's fairly high for a kinetic friction coefficient, so uh, it's a pretty sticky material, we can say. Um, pretty rough surface, maybe. All right, uh, now we're going to modify this slightly. We're going to say what will happen if we're pushing down on this with a 60 Newton force. I'll call that maybe F top. So I'm going to be pushing down F top. And that's going to make this normal force increase because that's still going to be balanced. And then that will make this increase, which means we're going to have to push harder. So mu sub k stayed the same because that's about the surfaces, but the end changed, so the friction forces change. So f net y is n minus mg minus f top, which again is another normal force. You could say we have three normal forces here, call them all normals with subscripts, that would be fine. f minus mu sub k n is zero. So we're looking for f now. f is mu sub k times n, but n mg plus f top. So this is mu sub k times mg plus f top. So that's 0.7 times 20 kilograms, 10 newtons per kilogram. That's mg plus uh, what was that mixture of 60 newtons? That'll be 182. So bigger than the 140 newtons you needed to push with before. So you know if you're pushing a box across the across the floor and your uh, little sibling comes up and sits on it, it's going to be harder for you to keep pushing that at a constant speed. Alternatively, if you were to lift that up a little bit, take some of the uh, reduce the normal force by sort of supporting some of the weight, then it would be easier for you to push.